Hey there, folks. So uh, what I have here is the the bodega field grade. Just got it in. I just walked home, <laughs> and uh, USPS just delivered it. So and I got to make a conscious effort not to move around with a knife. I know, fast bandit. I know, Jim Skelton. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll be bringing this to. Uh, we're filming um, Wieners and Steel tonight, so I'll definitely be showing this to the boys tonight. And um, yeah. So, yeah, I pre-ordered this, uh, what did it say, about two weeks ago? And um, uh, if, you, if, if you guys were, like, confused how to get it, basically, if you sign up for, uh, oh, there I go, moving it again. Yeah, I'm going to put this on. Basically, if you sign up for Todd Begg's website, uh, you'll get an email notification. In fact, today, I just got an email notification for the uh, different color uh, G10 available for the bodega field grade they have now the orange and the uh, od green uh, the first i believe they said the first 20 they were making i'm guessing i'm part of first 20 were black um so yeah get yours now it's 555 uh i forget exactly how much the other bodegas are i know they like eight something so it's a, like 300 dollars less um but let's go over the specs on this bad boy now i gotta pick it up i gotta stop moving i know i gotta stop right now all right, so it's the same steel basically as my other uh, bodega that you've seen in my other videos. It's a Bowler N690 stainless steel. This one's tumbled a uh, wash. Let me see if you can see it. Hopefully, you guys can see the uh, the wash on that. Can you guys see that? Let me see if I get the light closer. Is that better? Yeah. So it's G10. Right, it's got this stars and stripes. They call it the stars and stripes pattern on the G10, which is pretty cool, you know. Very patriotic. I love it. Um, it's got this um, removable. Uh, it's still titanium uh, lock bar. What do they call it? Lock bar? Yeah. Yeah, they call it like a titanium bolt-on lock. So I guess that's, that's what they officially call it. So this is removable if this ever wear. It also has the, uh, the stop in there to prevent it from over travel. Same as all the old bodegas. Um, and it's got the G10 over here. And it's got a titanium backspacer. The big difference, and it's got this, the same bud as the, and I'll, I'll do a comparison with the other bodega. Big difference is on this side, it's only G10. No liner. No titanium liner, no steel liner. So, uh, very reminiscent of Mikhail Williamson's knives. They only went with the G10 on this side. It's still uh, IKBS. So, it's still got that boat, that signature. I just call it that. Just sharp signature bodega flipping action. I mean, I hope I don't hit my uh, stand here, but yeah, same. Feels exactly the same as my other bodega. I believe they're gonna be getting rid of this. That design, I'm not sure if the new knives are gonna have that. I thought I saw it somewhere in his uh, IG post that they're gonna be getting rid of that. So, um, blade length is the same as the other Bodega, 3.75 on the blade. Overall length is uh, 8.875 inches. The difference is the weight. The weight on this one is six ounces, which is, a, is an ounce lighter than the, the bodega, my regular bodega. I might as well show that to you guys. And you definitely feel the difference. So this one's seven, this one's six. You know, um, yeah. That's basically the specs on that, but let's do a little comparison. So, you see that this blade is a satin finish, it's, and it's not tumbled like the top one, the field grade. Minor differences. Minor differences. You can see that on the field grade. Just look at it on this one. This is the my other bodega that I got from X. The swedge. If you look at the swedge, it kind of stops right there. You can see that. And on the field grade, the swedge kind of continues all the way to the tip. Kind of. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I got to put them all to both together so you can see the difference. Hopefully the focus is on. Right? Um, the steel is basically the same thickness, except when you look at it from this point, you can see that on the field grade, 
the swedge up here is much th thinner than over here on the my old bodega. I hope you guys can see that. But it's basically the same steel thickness overall, you know, with weight, you know. So, yeah, uh, difference again is you don't have this uh, cracked ice on the, on the clip or the backspacer. They went with a, a tumble wash, stone wash if you have. But um, that's really the differences. I mean, this one's more man jewelry. This one's more everyday use, I would say. So, is this sexier? Yes. They're coming out with the orange one, too. Um, yeah. Can't really see anything else much difference. You know, I just got it, so I'll be showing this to the boys tonight. Yeah. Still looks badass. Badass, badass, badass. Yeah. Yeah, very... And a few guys, uh, I know, uh... A few guys got it today because they ordered at the same time as me. They got the same email notification. Let's see if I feel any difference when, when I'm flicking it. Not really. Not really. Feels about the same. It's just as smooth. Well, let me see. Yeah, same smoothness. Pretty much. It pretty much fall closes in on its own weight. Yep. So I, I guess the design of this one is to be more for everyday carry. So you don't have to worry about this bead blast like on my other bodega here where the bead blast. You guys know when you have bead blast knives they tend to, you know, chip, not chip, but scratch and it will show more scratches on it. And this one's more like traditional like EDC knives with the stone wash, tumble wash. So pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool, you know. Um, you know, if you don't have the big bucks, I mean, it's only three hundred dollar difference. But if you don't want to spend eight plus on a bodega, you can always get this field grade bodega, and it's just as awesome. Uh, Lockup is early, still early, very early. Same as I, my bodega here. There we go. Right? So it's got that signature solid lockup by Todd Bag early to very early. And you can see that uh, the jimping on the the lock, the, what do they call it? Uh, titanium bolt on lock is the same. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know how they did it, but uh, it's IKBS. So it's, I would, I don't know if there's, um, maybe someone will take it apart. Like, I don't know if the IKBS just rolls inside the G10 or if there's like some kind of a plating in there. Uh, I don't know if G10 can accommodate IKBS like that. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool craftsmanship. Um, fit and finish is, is what you would expect from, um, from bag knives. So, yeah, I'll be bringing this. You'll, you'll be seeing this again tonight when we film um, Wieners and Steel. We should have some awesome guests tonight. Awesome, awesome guests, unless they flake us. But uh, a few people are calling down. All right, guys, hopefully that was short enough. Hopefully I held it steady enough. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.